Outlander star has to practically fight women off with his sword. Here's how Sam Hewen deals with celebrities flirting with him. The historical drama Outlander is a smash hit for stars. Debuting in August of 2014, it introduced people, and more importantly, women from around the world, to Scottish actor and heartthrob Sam Hewen. Enamored with his classical good looks, sexy accent, and his role as the handsome Highlands warrior, Jamie Fraser. He quickly went from a relative unknown to one of the sexiest men alive. How has his new status as the object of women's affection impacted the actor? Well, let's see. While on the Drew Barrymore show, Sam Hewen had to deal with the star literally drooling after him. They started the segment with Barrymore having to wipe her mouth off because a bit of lustful saliva came spilling out as she greeted her handsome guest. She even admitted to not being able to keep her cool around the actor. Then, they went on to talk about Hewen's affinity for wearing kilts. The traditional Scottish attire is kind of like a skirt, but unlike most skirts, they were worn by men. That's not all. Barrymore eagerly asked if Hewen wore them in the traditional Scottish style. Even though it was pretty clear by his bashful reaction, he still asked what she meant. Barrymore went on to make a motion with her hand that mimicked, well, an elephant's trunk, implying that he wore no underwear underneath. The crowd went wild just thinking about the hunky Highlander going au natural. Hewen, to his credit, went with it with humor when he confirmed that he did indeed wear them traditionally. Drew Barrymore actually screeched with excitement. She went on to ask what happened when he falls in the kilt. You can see it in her eyes. She was imagining it in her head. Sam Hewen and talk show hosts seem to always be an interesting combination. For further proof, you can watch his segment on The Kelly Clarkson Show. When he arrived, the crowd of mostly women very loudly let him know what they thought of Hewen. From Clarkson's nervous fidgeting and how she talked just a little faster than normal, it was clear he was having an effect on the host. Things started innocently enough with her talking about a trip she took to the Outlander's home in Scotland. Then it progressed into them talking about loving roundabouts. That's a little odd, but so far she held back her attraction to his square-jawed face. But then, she talked about how much she loves the very romantic Outlander show. Clarkson gushed about the program before turning up the heat of the interview by a couple of notches. Sam talked about how there are intimacy coaches on the set of the show. Basically, those are experts brought in to make sure that scenes look real without making actors uncomfortable. As he talked about the experience, Kelly Clarkson looked visibly flustered. Surely she was imagining the two of them being coached through something very, very intimate. She probably wouldn't have wanted any coach at all. Sam went on to talk about how awkward it could be for the actors and the crew, who have to stand there and watch him and an actress for hours until they get the scene right. Kelly Clarkson, the singer, former The Voice coach, and talk show host saw an opportunity to shoot her shot. I can compartmentalize well. It would be fine. Hewen laughed it off. The Kelly Clarkson Show fans went wild online after the interview. They pointed out the chemistry between the host and Hewen while praising her for going for it. Can romance on screen turn into something in real life? That's the question everyone is asking when following along with the social media flirting between the Outlander stars Sam Hewen and Katrina Balfe. In the show, Balfe plays one half of Outlander's main stars, Claire Randall. Claire is a former World War II nurse who, through some time-traveling shenanigans, finds herself in 1743 Scotland. While back in time, she meets Hewen's Jamie Fraser. The two get caught up in a rebellion, while apparently behind the cameras, they're getting caught up in each other. Now, I have to mention before we go into their exchanges on social media, both actors are happily partnered with someone else. That doesn't have to spoil the fun of speculation, though, now does it? All taking part on Twitter, the first one to raise eyebrows and make the heart flutter was on March 3, 2015, when Balfe shared a picture of her holding a picture, really meta here, with a caption making fun of her own weird hands. Sam started playfully saying that was indeed weird, but then went on to say that she was still a beauty though. On October 4, 2015, Hewen wished his co-star a happy birthday. It featured a posed picture of Katrina Balfe snuggling with what looked to be a burnt-up dummy on set. 
Sam wrote, Happy birthday, beautiful, talented, big-hearted, at Katrina M. Bell. Love you lots, wifey. So lucky to work with you. XX. That wasn't subtle at all, Samuel. The birthday gal replied, by thanking him but wondering why there were only two X's. Happy to keep it up, Dewan wrote that if she wanted more smut next birthday, he'd be happy to oblige. Are these still online conspiracy theories? Katrina wasn't shy at all about throwing some innuendo Sam's way. In a Twitter post on July 7, 2017, she shared a picture of the two of them on set. He was covered in dirt and fake blood. Balf wrote, Dirty, dirty boy, while at mentioning Hewen. We've all flirted with crushes before. One of the age-old tactics of showing your affection is by teasing them. Katrina Balf utilized that technique by teasing Sam Hewen in a tweet. Said tweet read, says a very drunk at Sam Hewen trying to prove a point, hashtag Valley Girl Sam. Not one to turn down the chance to trade barbs with his co-star, Hewen tweeted back, whatever. These interactions continue, further fueling the fire of their rumored love for each other. Happy for Katrina when she was nominated for a Golden Globe, Sam let the world know that he was rooting for her. In a tweet, he wished her good luck. She responded with three kissy face emojis. These Twitter exchanges, lengthy as they are, aren't the only times the two Outlander stars flirted with each other. They turned the cuteness up to 11 in their interviews. In one for the Star series, the interviewer asks them what the most embarrassing thing they've done around each other. Katrina answered, writing that he was perfect. Of course, he replied, so is she. The interviewer went on to ask what was Katrina's idea of a good date. They nearly had the same answer of some good food and wine, before Sam got rejected after playfully asking her out. The chemistry between these two is just something else. On a panel at Comic-Con for Outlander, Katrina Balfe was asked if she'd ever been injured on set. She said that she couldn't count the number of times that Sam accidentally hit her in the head. Sam added, with his sword, which, as you can imagine, elicited a lot of laughter from the crowd and an embarrassed look across his co-star's face. It's not just actresses and celebrities that thirst after Sam Hewen. Other than Katrina Balfe, he admitted to having a crush that no one ever probably would have guessed. Sam admitted to not only being a Star Trek geek when he was a kid, he also said that his first crush was on the character Deanna Troy from Star Trek Next Generation, as well as Patrick Stewart. Katrina said her crush was on actor John Goodman, they both agreed that it was a bit weird. What's really weird is that they didn't say their real crushes were each other. Because it's obvious, guys. I'm calling it now. One way or another, Katrina Balfe and Sam Hewen will end up as a couple. So, from making Drew Barrymore drool, to talking about intimacy with a smitten Kelly Clarkson, and his seemingly endless flirtations with his Outlander co-star, both in interviews and online, this has been how Sam Hewen deals with celebrities flirting with him.